at the time that I'm making this video, I'm about to go and do uh, a performance in Skokie, which is right next to Chicago. And uh, <clears throat> it's also day 14 out of the 90 days of the Dolby. And right now uh, I'm shooting this 35 minutes before I'm on the stage. And uh, I'm just, first of all, I'm so excited about it. I'm giddy, I feel really excited. So I decided to meditate because when I'm excited about it, my mind is thinking about it a lot and it's not noticing what's here. And so I closed my eyes for about 20 minutes just now and I noticed this little thought in me that was so excited. And I started looking at that little excited thought and then it also noticed that air was touching my arm. And that was equally exciting. And then it noticed that a fan was going on. Like notice as you're watching this video, you're hearing this content and that might be exciting, but also notice the different things going on in your place. Like, is there a fan going on? Or hey, can you hear someone walking across the room? Or notice sensations that you're feeling in your body because these are all also happening and they're equally as exciting or matter just as much as every exciting thought and every negative thought. So when you think of something negative, think, I have this thing going on, I'm so stressed about, and there's air touching my arm. I'm so worried about going broke with this thing, and I can hear the fan going on. Because believe it or not, these things are all equally important. And the more you make the things that are actually happening now, these be the real things. These are the important things. The, the air touching my arm, the fact that my heart's beating, all these things, the less you go down to the level of giving power to what the thoughts are saying, but instead just noticing that thoughts are happening. So it's one thing to go, I have a thought coming up about this thing coming up. But it's another thing to go, they say this and this is gonna happen, I'm worried about this. One is you see the thought, and the other one is you're in the thought. And the more you sit back and pay attention to just the fact that thoughts come up, whether they're excited or scared, whether they're good or bad that you perceive and judge as good or bad, whether they're this thing or that thing, whatever also going on at the same time is that there's air touching your arm, that you have hair growing in different areas, that you have hair coming out of your face. I've done the hair one twice, but that's what wanted to happen. The fact that you're wearing clothes, the fact that you can feel things. What do you feel right now more than what are the thoughts saying? What do you feel? There's thoughts coming up. I feel stressed. I feel scared. I feel excited. What else? I'm breathing. What else? My kidney's doing something. What else? I have to pee a little bit. What else? I'm here. What else? I'm making a video. This is what's true. And when you go with what's true right now, you don't have to stress or be in constant reaction to what the thoughts are saying. And instead you become the observer or the one looking at the thoughts. And that's absolute freedom right there. So yes, I'm excited that I'm doing that, but I'm also just as excited to be sitting here right now. I'm excited to be able to talk. I'm excited to be able to sit down in a place. I'm excited to be with you. And I'm just thankful for right now.